Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be using micro DICOM to view images, radiology images from a DICOM disk or a DICOM ISO. To get started with that, first we're going to need to open up our web browser and download micro DICOM. You can just do a Google search for micro DICOM. And the address for that is microdicom.com. And I have a 64 bit PC, so I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version. I'm going to run the installer here. Microdicom. Yes, we want to allow it to make changes. And we're going to hit next and run through the installer. You may already have microdicom installed. finish. We don't want to run it yet. First we're going to mount our ISO image or if you have a CD you can just put that CD in the drive. Microdite comes open. I'm going to go get that image. It's in my documents folder. Double click it. Let's see it mounts it there. It mounted it as drive letter E. So now in MicroDicom, I'm just going to click the icon of the disk. It'll automatically look for a CD and load the DICOM images. If you're doing this from a CD, it's going to take much longer. Um, the read time from a CD takes the program a lot longer to load. So we're going to File, Export to JPEG. Here I'm selecting where I want to save it. I'm going to just throw these in a new folder. This is an anonymous test DICOM file, so we don't have to worry about HIPAA data here. So I'm going to leave that. Set the source to all patients. That's going to be the entire disk. Image format, JPEG files. Leave the next two boxes checked. You can change the settings if you need to. And I would like to turn the quality of the JPEG up to 100 and then I click export and exports them it shows us the folder that it exported them to so we double click in there and we can take a look at our images that we exported and there they are so we're done with that just the important thing here is if you have a folder, you can click the magnifying glass and choose to scan a whole folder. I selected the CD, but it is the same thing as clicking the disk. It's just looking at a folder instead of specifically looking for a disk. So now we're done with that. We're going to make sure we go back. We're going to go back to that drive where we mounted that ISO and we're going to eject it. That way somebody else can use it in the future. Well, that's it, guys. Like and subscribe.